So here's my thing, right? So like I said, Des Bryant, I mean, I'm sorry, Dak Prescott has come out and said that no team really needs a, a number one receiver in order to be successful. That's because Cowboys have no number one right receiver. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they're banking on Allen Hearns. Yes. But it got me to thinking, and, you know, you asked me, what did I think about it? And then we got a little bit deeper. And I said, the reason why Dak Prescott is so successful mm -hmm. is because he's in that Dallas Cowboys system okay. with a great line. Yes. And a great running back. Yes. He has the time. He gets the protection. Mm -hmm. And when you have Ezekiel Elliott in the lineup, he can block. He right. can catch out the backfield. And we damn sure know he can run. Right. I also said this. He benefits from being in the Cowboys system. If he played for Cleveland, he'd, he'd be a fourth-string quarterback on the bench. He'd probably wind the job. If he played for Miami, he would be on the bench. If he played for the Jets... He would not be the Dak Prescott he is today right. because there's still a lot of intangibles and in part of the game, a lot of the game, that he needs to learn. Yes. So him being in another system, him going to the Dallas Cowboys as a fourth-round draft pick is by far the best thing that could have ever happened to him. Yes. Even right now, year three, you remove him out of that system, you pull him out of that Cowboys system, and let's just say you stick him in – I don't know. What, what can we stick him? Uh, what team? I'm trying to think. What, what team could we put Dak on? In, in, in Buffalo. You put no. Dak in Buffalo, no. he, he's still not successful, no. right? No. So you put Dak with, you put okay. Dak with the Texans. Is he as successful no. as Deshaun Watson? No. You put Dak in, in Jacksonville with Blake, with Blake Bortles. You put him in Indianapolis. Blake, Jacksonville because they got a defense. So he would only be required to do so much. Okay, but you put him in Indianapolis. No, because they had they're horrible. Put him in Denver. Maybe. Maybe. Chargers. No. Raiders. Mm -mm. You see what I'm saying? So when we start looking at successful quarterbacks in in the NFL, right? Do we rank Dak up there in the top five? No, I think. Uh, no. Top seven. No. No. We we'll pull him like I said. Pull him out of that Cowboy system. Uh -uh. We re rank him top 10. No. We don't rank Dak top 10 right now? I can't give him top 10 because he hasn't played the third season yet. Okay. I can't give him that because he, I mean, obviously this year, like I said, put, he put his money, well, he put his mouth, so hopefully he can put the money out there and, and, and show that he can get that big contract because he said that and said that he don't need a big time receiver, but he needs something. So if that means the Dallas Cowboys is going straight basic and we're going to be a downhill team and run, yeah. that makes it one dimension when everybody's going to stop that. But if he can't sit there and throw the ball and disseminate across the field. I don't, think, I don't even think Dak would be successful if he went to the Washington Redskins. No, not no. Now here's the funny part. Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't have a lot of games under his belt, but he's still a better fit at quarterback for San Francisco than Dak is. Yeah. And this has nothing to do with the fact that, you know, the Cow I think that the Cowboys have made some bonehead moves this year. It has nothing to do with that. No. It has everything to do with looking at Dak's skill set and the fact that it was not just Dez's fault that they were not successful last year. No, it wasn't just Dez. They Play calling. Yeah. So what do you think? It wasn't just Dez. Would you, would you take him in New Orleans? Dak? Yeah. I mean. If, uh, if Drew Brees got yeah. hurt, if Drew Brees retired. Say, say, say Drew Brees is gone already. He retired. Not get hurt. He retired. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because of the New Orleans system. He has because he has more weapons. He would have more weapons. Now Dallas is I'm gonna say they're starting over, but again, y'all going one dimensional with having a running back and you ain't got nobody to throw it to. So defense is automatically gonna crowd the box to try to step Eight stop, in the box. Eight in the box and say, Okay, now Dak, you show me what you can do. Yes. Now when he starts doing that, then the defense will start playing off him. But that's how they're gonna have to go into this season. With him, mm -hmm. even with Dez, and they, okay, yeah, Dez was falling off a little bit, but it wasn't to the point to where okay, we need to send you somewhere else. Nobody else was out there for you know for y'all that's gonna take Dez's spot. But then again, he was inaccurate too. Hey, listen, let me tell you something, man. I told you earlier, I almost renounced my, uh, 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 I almost renounced my uh, allegiance to the Dallas Cowboys today because I because I was standing there while a real wide receiver was talking, and I was like. This dude's amazing. 